Hello, everyone, and welcome to this conversation presented by White House Custom Color. Matt, Matt Matthews, you're in, in Birmingham, right? In Alabama? I am, yeah. What's it like down there in Birmingham? Who is hot? <laughs> it is. Um, That's it the is... first thing that comes to your mind right now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is, it, is you, I, you're going... That's what comes to my mind. I don't do, I do not do the heat. Like, I cannot stand to be hot. I don't want to sweat. None of those things. <laughs> and, um, and you live in Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could move to uh, Minneapolis. Uh, no, I'm good. Oh, you're. <laughs> I'm good. You don't dislike it that much. I'm too southern for that. You know, like uh, you are southern everywhere. I I am. I am. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't I hate don't, the player. Huh? I don't hate. <laughs> I don't hate southern people. I'm all about southern. Um, it's so funny because everywhere I go, people are like, "Where are you from?" And I'm like. I'm from England. Where do you think I'm from? <laughs> I was like, going to say it's not hard. It's it's really not difficult to 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 find out where I'm at, where I'm from. I would but, not. Uh, everywhere I would, I go, every time I go speak somewhere, that's the first thing people ask. I would not feel the need to ask. I would say, "Where in the South are you from?" Yeah, which part of the South are you from? <laughs> um, well, so tell me what how things are looking right now, um, given our current crazy situation what is what is life like for you right now um you know i am honestly i'm not a person that likes to stay in the house all the time um i live on a farm so i've got horses and i've got um dogs and cats and uh goats and you know Mm -hmm. so it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot to do around here in general um i barrel race competitively so oh wow i um I do a lot of uh, horse horseback riding and things like that. So right now for me, it has really just been a lot of riding my horses and hanging out in the barn and cleaning stalls and, you know, all the, all the stuff that I do generally, you know, every day. But now it's kind of like I don't really have any pressure of anything else on top of me um, so I can really focus on my horses and, you know, doing things with them is basically what I've been up to recently. Now I just saw. Well, I didn't just see it. It was a couple weeks ago that they canceled that enormous rodeo in Houston for the first time yeah. in eighty six years. So, what's it like in that industry too? I mean, everything's getting all those huge events are getting canceled. So you can't do that either, right? Um, so I can't. I can't actually compete right now um, because everything is being canceled. Right. But um, you know, right now it's really just kind of hanging out at the house and riding, or going and you know trail riding somewhere because national parks and things like that are still open and available. So um, I'll take the horses and we'll go trail ride or something like that. Um, but it's it's really it's it's worrying. It's worrisome for a lot of people because you know, especially in the rodeo um, industry, because you know, so many of these people they rely on this as their income and their living and you know luckily you need an event uh, yeah yeah and um you know i've been blessed that horses are are my passion and it's what i do but it's it doesn't it's not what pays my bills so um it's 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 rough for a lot of people i have a lot of friends that are really scared because they they can't compete and they can't do anything to pay their bills right now so it's a scary time well i was thinking about that with you in particular though because you're a boudoir photographer Mm-hmm. And a lot of people right now are doing like the front porch stuff, you know, where they go to the family's house, they keep their distance, they photograph them on the front porch. You can't do that with boudoir. Mm-mm. So what are you doing? I'm sitting my ass at the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, like, that's what I'm doing because, I mean, I have one of the largest boudoir studios in the South. Um, mm-hmm. And... There's not, I mean, there aren't a ton of boudoir photographers in my area. There are a couple, but um, nothing like what I do because I actually own, I mean, we're a full service boudoir studio, but I'm actually opening a, an entire lingerie store as well. Oh, okay. Um, so my studio is actually two levels. So um, the downstairs is completely separated and it's a lingerie store. And then upstairs is my boudoir studio. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is 
it, I mean, that's scary in itself because I just opened this store and dropped all, all of this money to open this beautiful store. And um, now we can't even open because of this. So, you know, that part's scary. Um, I definitely have thought about what if I go to somebody's house and did a boudoir session or what if I do this? And then I'm like, you know, it's just my, what I do is, is I pride myself on an experience. Yeah. Um, it's not just photos. And if I yeah. just go to their house and take photos of them, it's not going to be the same experience for them. And I don't right. really feel like that's as fair to them. Right. Um, so we're just waiting it out, you know, because this is going to pass and you know, it's scary and it's freaking people out. But I always have been taught that you have to look at the light at the end of the tunnel mm. and this is going to pass. And when it does, people are going to want to leave their houses. They're going to want to come and shop. They're going to want to go and eat at restaurants. And I don't think that people are really prepared. Like, I don't think my store is not prepared, you know, because when this, op when we open and this quarantine is lifted and people are able to leave their houses, I can guarantee you my store is going to be flooded and we're not going to be prepared to handle that many people shopping. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure inventory is going to sell out. You know, things are going to, things are going to go back to normal. It's just going to take a little bit of time to get there. And, um, you know, people listening and doing what the hell they're supposed to do. Are, are there things that you can do online? Do you have an online store or do you have ways that people can check things out? on the internet? Yeah. So, uh, my, everything that we sell in our store is also sold online. Um, now a lot of our inventory isn't online yet. Um, as we're, cause we're still just, um, we haven't completely opened yet. So, um, we photograph the pieces and things like that to go online, but a lot of my old stuff is on there. Um, I also have my own skincare line of like body scrubs and lip scrubs and, you know, what? things like that. That'll, that, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I do it all. You're a, you're a mogul. I am. I never, my friends make fun of me and say that you never stop. Like as soon as I finish one project, I'm like jumping to the next one. Um, and I've always just been a very motivated person and I can't sit still and I can't not do something. Um, so it's like, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm well, always doing something. It's a good thing that you live on a farm. I mean, I know a lot of people that have like an apartment, you know, especially in the bigger cities and they're, they're essentially restricting themselves to their apartment. Now you can restrict right. yourself to your farm, but you can mm -hmm. still get out there and ride your horses and, and go outside and, and enjoy the outdoors like you would normally. Right. Um, th so this, this would be very difficult for you being someone always on the move and always doing something. If you had to be even more restricted than what you are. Yeah. Because I mean, it's, it's already very difficult for me. Um, you know, obviously, like, you have to go get groceries. You know what I mean? Like, you have to put gas in your car, mm. those types of things. But um, it's, there's only so many trails that you can ride on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, my horses are kind of like, damn, again. Um, but it's, it's better than nothing. And, you know, I tell everybody, I'm like, get outside. If you can just get outside and be outdoors and, you know, like, I'm not telling you to go have a picnic with your boyfriend and be kissing all over each right. other, but like get outside in the sunshine and like enjoy the light and, right. you know, the fresh air and do those things. And, you know, they're even, they're even recommending that people do that, you right. know, like these state parks are staying open for that reason. You know, mm -hmm. like go take a hike, go walk through the woods, like yeah. do something. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just stay cooped up if you don't have to. Yeah. Cause it will drive me crazy. Is there anything that, that you're doing specifically for your boudoir business that you can be doing right now, even though you are restricted essentially to the farm? Yeah. So, you know, I've been, um, I've been telling a lot of the people that follow me and, you know, like a lot of my um, other photographers or even other people that aren't photographers, but they're just kind of business people and they yeah. want tips. Yeah. Um, I've been, what I've really been talking about and, and teaching a lot of people lately is to just stay relevant and to stay active and stay in front of your audience. Mm. Because at the end of the day, every single day that passes, that we don't post something on our social media, we aren't active, we're not connecting with our audience, or we're not, you know, giving them something to think about or give them something to, you know, stay in front of them, they forget about us. Right. And every single day, I kind of, I've been describing it kind of like a heel. So like every single day that you don't post something, it's, you just go a little bit further down the hill. And it yeah. makes it a little harder to, to, to go back up that hill eventually if you don't 
continue to do it every day. And somebody was like, well, Matt, like they can't book a session or, you know, I can't go cut hair or I can't do any of that right now. I'm like, that's okay. But you still stay connected with your audience. You still want to stay in front of them and remind them that you're still here so that when this is over and it will be over, they are still going to be interested in what you do and they're still going to want to come to you. Right, so because everybody's at home right now. Everybody's at home right now consuming it anyway. So other people are getting to them. Yeah. And if you don't stay in the mix, you you could get you could get lost. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, like I have I've been posting every single day like it's not even a thing. Yeah. You know, I'm not posting about coronavirus issues. I'm not talking about political issues. I'm not talking about those things because people are already so worried and so like, right. you know, dwelled on this that that's not something that I want to talk about. And sure. and I want to continue to encourage people and I want people to be continued to, you know, see that light at the end of the tunnel. And um, so I continue to post photos of my clients. I continue to post and, you know, engaging things that my clients want to talk about. Um, You know, just things that are going to get people's minds off of it and keep them reminded that, hello, Matt's still here. And, you know, when this is over, we're going to be able to do this again. This, that, that's interesting that you that you're taking that stance because I think that's a good stance to take. But here's here's what I've wondered about it, right? If, if you're taking the stance where you're you're essentially not addressing the elephant in the room, so to speak, right? You're just moving forward, business as usual, putting your stuff out there, being encouraging to people in general because you are that way anyway, right? It's not like you're now being encouraging when you weren't before. That's just right. how you are already, right? I'm wondering that that for someone that takes that stance is one of the challenges or one of the concerns that you have to worry about coming across as tone deaf. Like in other words, a a criticism could be, this is not mine, but I could understand why someone would say, how, how is he not like, how is he just moving forward? Like nothing's happening because something's happening, but here he is just posting or just saying things as if there's nothing going on. Like, is that a concern or do you just push on forward? Um, I think it can be a concern because at the end of the day, I have to look at the platform that I've been given. Right. And, you know, there are a lot of people that follow me. There are a lot of people that watch me every single day. And there are a lot of people that, you know, which I don't know why I'm crazy as hell, but there are a lot of people that look up to me. You know what I mean? (laughs) And so at the end of the day, I do have to realize I do have a platform. I do have a voice and people are listening to it. Yeah. Um, so when you have those things, there's never going, everybody's not always going to like you. They're not always going to like what you have to say. That hasn't and at changed. The end of the day, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, like, I just have to not worry about that. And um, my thing is regarding that people are going to talk about the coronavirus and the effects and what it's doing to our economy and what our population is doing. And, you know, they're going to talk about that regardless. Yeah. So my view on that is, I don't want to continue to fill people's feed with negativity right. when they're already seeing it from everybody else. Right. It's not like you they know, don't I have access to-, to that information. <laughs> right. It's not like it's not readily available for right. everybody. Right. But at this time, encouragement yeah. and support is not readily available. Yeah. And not people as much. are not talking yeah. about those things. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, like it's all about what are we going to do? Do we have enough toilet paper? Like, right. stupid stuff you right. know what i mean and like this right now is the time that we need to be supporting each other and uplifting each other more than any time amen yeah. so i'm going to continue to do what i do and continue to be encouraging and uplifting because hell nobody else is i know it it does seem like a lot of people you can get wrapped up in the news of the day so to speak and of course the news yeah. of the day is all is all about the virus um what on the other side of this what does the first day, the first week, the first month on the other side of this look like for you? Let's say it's a month from now or two months from now. What does that look like for you? Are you just jumping right back into the mix? Let's hope that it's not two months from now. Well, (laughs) Um, who knows, right? Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. Um, But I think that it's going to be very busy. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to have of time to do anything but work because Mm -hmm. I have this new store that's going to be opening. Mm -hmm. I've got to reschedule all of the clients that we have photographed that we have on calendar. Right. Um, you know, and we photograph 15 clients a month. 
Yeah. So, um, you know, that's, that's going to be challenging getting everybody rescheduled. So I feel like, you know, the rest of the year is going to be catching up. Right. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, thank you for doing this. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Um, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Stay strong down there and straight, stay healthy and, and keep encouraging. This is, I, this is for everybody right now. I feel like it's for me. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I'm like, this is what I, my favorite coffee mug. <laughs> oh, well, have a good day, brother. I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you.